this is a really important aspect as a, a polysomnography, video polysomnography is fundamental for the diagnosis of Ramsey behavior disorder because the definition is uh, in uh, um, the appearance of a dream enactment behavior during REM sleep and uh, an increased muscle activity during REM sleep. So this needs to be demonstrated through polysomnography and uh, it's uh, really important to have an accurate diagnosis, uh, diagnosis and not uh, a probable or possible diagnosis, uh, diagnosis based only on clinical history because of the implication of isolated Ramsey behavior disorder because we know that this is a prodromal alpha synuclinopathy so when we communicate the patient to this diagnosis we want to be 100% sure that this is uh, the true diagnosis that we uh, have excluded mimics uh, and uh, uh, we need also to uh, communicate this diagnosis in the right way and give the patient the possibility to ask answers and, uh, and get some support because uh, uh, this has several ethical implications. This is linked to also to the uh, previous aspect of ethical implications. So there are uh, screening questionnaires which have been uh, validated. They can be useful to screen for RMC behavior disorder, but we still need uh, to keep in mind that uh, these are not instrumented to make a diagnosis. So we always need the polysomnography to confirm the diagnosis and a uh, patient with Ramsey behavior disorder in almost a half a percent of the cases, they are not aware of having these behaviors because if they don't uh, injure themselves during sleep and then uh, wake up because of injury or because they fall out of bed, then they do not remember the episodes or um, are not aware of having these behaviors. So just asking them is not sufficient in these cases. And also uh, questionnaires do not allow excluding for mimics. So there are also other screening instruments, uh, for example, based on actigraphy or uh, 3D analysis of, of videos, which can be done also at home, but these are still, uh, uh, still need to be further developed. And uh, uh, yeah, it is really important to confirm the diagnosis with polysomnography. So I just uh, briefly mentioned the use of a wearable device or nearable device like actigraphy or a, a 3D camera. These uh, are really promising instruments for, uh, at the moment, uh, as screening methods. There are also other devices uh, like headbands, which uh, can uh, measure sleep at home. And uh, um, at the moment, these are uh, useful screening instruments. There have been already studies on that and we will see if they can be developed further to become maybe diagnostic instrument, but probably we will still need the polysomnography to confirm then the diagnosis.